Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. As always, thank you for watching. So, I've got a question for you. Do you store your notes digitally or do you keep your notes uh, with old-fashioned pen and paper? Well, for me, I keep my notes digital. I like to synchronize them in the cloud. That way I have access on all of my mobile devices. Well, there's lots, I mean a ton, let me put it that way, a ton of note-taking applications. Some of the big names are Evernote, uh, OneNote, as well as Google Keep. And while all three of those applications are powerful and very good in their own right, um, what I have found, and perhaps this applies to you, is the simpler the note-taking application, the better. I realize that I don't really screen clip that often, and you know I don't need to set up notebooks and things like that. I just want to take notes, keep them synchronized, and have quick access to them. Well, I have found a, an application called Simple Note that for me fits the bill in every regard and has a few bonuses as well so i want to jump into that but before i do i just want to again say this is completely cross-platform it works on ios android mac windows and native on linux the other benefit for many of you is that this is completely open source under the gpl v2 license uh, so with that all said let's jump over here into simple note and the name really sums it up for what it is. First of all, I love the look of this. It's very straightforward with the title of your note on the left. I made a few test notes here. Uh, and uh, title of the note on the left. And just a nice, you know, very clean interface. And in fact, I think that this looks especially good here running on KDE. It looks like a native Qt app to me. So uh, let's go ahead and expand this full screen. I want to talk about several things that I appreciate, and none of these are overly complicated. Again, they keep everything as simple as can be. I mean, it really holds true to its name. Uh, first of all, simply taking a note is as easy as clicking New Note. There's no title or anything you type. The first line is the title. So uh, we're going to say, Welcome to LQ and that then becomes the title so you'll see there now the other thing that I really appreciate is now I've created this new note I can simply go down here and add a tag so we're gonna call this LQ now I wanna to add to that that I've got the Android application installed and the beauty of the Android application is that number one the application looks almost identical even though it fits the phone so um, you know you've got the same options so you can go in and choose this dark theme or light theme and on that subject let's just go ahead and then you have display and again they keep this very simple and straightforward you can sort by last modified created or alphabetical uh, you can reverse that list and then you've got display uh, settings here for comfy condensed and expanded um, and then for the theme you have light and dark now I think light is a little bit too light there I really think dark looks nice and that's it as far as your settings and preferences are concerned. Again, it keeps it simple. Uh, the other thing that I appreciate are the tags. So here we could go in and you've got a list of tags here that I've created on some of these notes. So you could go in and quickly sort by tag. You could edit those and rearrange them or go in and delete those tags. And then we'll go back here. You've got trash and we'll go back to all notes. Now you could go in and search and the search seems to be fast. So it's sorted out the two notes where I have typed in Linux. So we could quickly toggle from one to the other. Now you have some features over here or some options over here on the right. You could go into history. And since this is a fresh install, I can't go back far. But you see here how the slider works. Um, and then you have the option to share this. So you could set up a collaborator by simply typing in their email address and uh, sending them an email from the application. And then they could... Uh, share and work on that note with you. Uh, here you have delete and then here for this particular note you could go in and see that you have 10 words, 62 characters and we could pin that to the top if we decided to. So for me this has everything I need. The ability to tag, the ability to search, it's quick, it's simple, synchronization seems to be lightning fast before I can actually pick up my phone and tap the screen to unlock it. The note has already synchronized. So 
this is going to be my new note-taking app. Uh, for business, I typically keep things in Google Keep. Uh, long ago, I got rid of Evernote. I just didn't care for their business model changing, and it was overly complicated. Uh, one note, since I moved everything over to Linux, I'm totally Linux now. Well, you know the rest of the story there. So uh, if you take notes digitally and you like to keep things simple, I highly, highly recommend you check out Simple Note. Now, I want to talk about the phone here for just a minute. One of the settings on the phone is one of those settings that every note-taking app should have included, but they unfortunately do not, or some of them charge for it. And that is the ability to go in and put a PIN password in for your note-taking app. So if you're a road warrior and you travel and, you know, you don't want to take a chance on losing your phone with all of your pertinent notes, you know, maybe you've got uh, membership numbers on there and passwords and things like that. So there is the ability to toggle on the pin lock and enter in your uh, four digit pin and lock your notes away and keep them safe. So again, excellent note taking app. This is going to be uh, my new uh, application for all of my notes. I'm going to migrate all of my notes over. We'll see how quick and easy that is. Oh, and one more thing I forgot. Uh, you have the ability to print um, and cut, copy, and paste. So for me, that rounds it out. I think it offers everything that I need, and perhaps it'll uh, be a good application choice for you or a cool Linux tool for you. Hope this helps, and we will check you later.